Six, easy way, came easy this time, bet them hard. So today's video is all about craps calls or craps lingos. It's, if, a, if you got a good dealer doing good calls, it's, it can make the game a lot of fun, but it's also very beneficial to let you know what's up. So I've got John Boonder here with me and he's a, de he's a previous dealer and he's one of the best craps games callers. I don't know if that's the way to say it, but um, he's really good at it. I really enjoy it. So stick around for some great craps lingo. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is John's gonna push out different dice sets, um, you know, starting with Ace Ace, and he's gonna make the calls. I'm not gonna say anything. We're just gonna go through it so you can kind of play this back and kind of learn them if you'd like or just sit back and enjoy. So, John, take it away. Two crap dice, aces in both places. Two bad guys from Van Nuys. Three craps, ace caught a deuce, a d goose and a duck. Put them in the field and see if they get lucky. Four, came easy way, bet them hard. Okay, so I can. Four, the hard way, came hard, bet them hard. Five and no, five and no field, five. There's no five in the field. Six, easy way, came easy this time, bet them hard. <laughs> Six, the hard way, came hard, bet them hard. Four tray, line away. Or winner seven, seven winner, front line yeah, winner. Yeah, I like right? that one. Seven, right? That's a lot better, right? How about this one? Cinco dos, adios. Six and a one, that's no fun. Eight came easy way, came easy this time, folks, bet them hard. Eight easy, came easy this time, bet them hard, folks. Eight the hard way, came hard, bet them hard. Nine, nine, center field nine, center field nine. Is there any other versions of nine? <laughs> the six and the three. Okay. Nine, center field nine. 10, the hard way, came hard, bet him hard. 10 came easy, 10 EC toddy, smelly feet and no body. 10, 10 on the end. I was looking at it from There we end. go. <laughs> yo 11, yo 11. We never say 11 in the casino. We always say 11 or yo, especially yo, because seven sounds like 11 in a noisy, noisy casino. They kind of sound the same. So we try to differentiate the two for sure so that somebody doesn't see the dice roll. We get a proper call that's based upon what just happened with the dice. Yo 11, yo 11. Elevine the dancing queen, seldom betting often seen. 12 crap dice, that's all the dots we got. It's a bum's delight on a Friday night. Pays double in the bubble down here. Check it out. Okay, so that's pretty much all the calls for the dice that you like to use? Yes. So I, I know you make other calls for other, I guess, bets or different things. Can you show us some of those? Well, the, the guy who's running the dice in the game is the stick man. And he's mm -hmm. going to be rapping and rhyming, and he's going to be trying to entice you to focus your attention over here in the proposition area of the game. So you'll notice that most of my dice calls when I'm calling hard ways or something else, I might try to entice you to bid over here in, in this part of the game. I don't bid over there personally, but as a casino dealer, that's what they want me to do. They want me to try to get you over here to try to play those bets. So when I call a six or an eight, six hard, came hard, bet them hard, folks. You know, I'm trying to see, look, it pays, right? Mm -hmm. If you bet hard eight, if it came easy this time, bet them hard, folks, bet them hard, you know? I'm trying to get you to bet over here. Um, 12, craps, you know, 12. There's, <laughs> It's a bum's delight on a Friday night, the old box cars, right? I'm rapping and rhyming and trying to entice you to bet on things that are not necessarily in your favor. They may pay all right as far as the stuff goes, but the odds are not in your favor. This doesn't pay 30 to one, it only pays 29 to one, and the true odds for a 12 are 36 to one, so it should pay you a lot more. These are bad bets in the casino, but the stick man's trying to get you to throw your money and your attention and your time out there. Now it's the stick man's job to make these calls, right? The, it's the, the stick man's dealer. job. The stick man is the guy who controls the pace of the game. He's also the one who is in control of uh, telling the dealers what these bets pay out for other people. He'll say, this person over here gets paid so much. This person over here, your first, your second, your third, gets paid X amount of dollars based upon what's over here. So the dealer can focus right here. This man is focused on these bets over here, and he's telling me what to pay you, the player, if you're betting over there. Cool. Um, anything else? Craps 11, any seven, dice are out. Twist and shout, they're coming out. The man with glasses gonna make some passes. 
<laughs> yeah, I, see, I just love that. Right? Stuff. All that stuff is a lot of fun. I try to I try to make it as fun as I can for the people who are in front of me. And I ruin my voice and when I'm teaching this stuff. I'll do three or four hours for a private party or something, and I am worked for two days. I can't even say a word because I just keep going and going. But yeah, I've I've gotten some good craps calls from some of the dealers that I've worked with. I've worked on craps tables where the combined year experience for the people that were there, each one of the guys on the craps table had over 30 years of experience. We're talking over a hundred years worth of craps experience between all these dealers. So there's some real creative and a lot of fun calls out there. Some are not quite as appropriate as other okay, ones. Okay, okay, okay. I want to get to that. So <laughs> if you're easily offended, go ahead and turn the video off now. But I know John's got some doozies. Um, YouTube could be can rate this as mature. I'm not sure how it works, but um, uh, if you're easily offended, go ahead and turn off. But I want to stick around. I want to hear some of these calls, John, if you don't mind. <laughs> I've got a couple I'll throw out there. There's okay. some other creative ones, too. We don't want to offend too many people. Yeah, don't take maybe. I don't know. You feel you tell me, give me something that you're a little comfortable with, but a little more edgy. What do you got? Well, uh, <laughs> a hard 10. That's a working girl's delight on a Friday night. <laughs> the old hard 10. <laughs> OK, that kind of makes sense. They also call it in different places. You've got the fours and the tens. They call them uh, Little Joe from Lake Tahoe or Little Joe from Kokomo. That's the original call. And then over here, 10 is Big Dick from Boston. We say Big Dick from French Lick. If you're from Indiana or a Hoosiers fan, you'll get that one over there. That's yeah. a lot of fun there. So, uh, you know, hard tens and fours. Um, those are a lot of fun, depending upon who's on your table. You, again, you don't want to try to offend anybody. But the casinos are, you know, pretty raunchy to begin with. So, so do, <clears throat> do the casinos... Um, tell you what you can and can't say. Oh, or... yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, try to get away with this. Yo, yo, pay the hoe. That doesn't work at all. Okay. That does, you may be invited to leave. That's not going to happen. But yeah, I've, heard, I've heard that kind of stuff in Northern So Nevada leave that kind, kind of call day. at home. Yeah. Unless you're playing on your own game, that's fine. Yo, okay. yo, pay the hoe. That does no good. You got that stuck in my head. I'm like, <laughs> I got to be careful now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Eleven, Elevine, Elevine the Dancing Queen, seldom batting off and seen, Elevine the Sex Machine. Okay. Right? So, the, the, you know, again, it's, it's about camaraderie on the table. And I'm not going to say that to somebody who I see is, you know, easily offended when they come up to the table. It's hard to know sometimes, you know. Yeah. Little old lady standing next to the table. I guarantee you, if she's a craps player, she's got a truck driving sailor's mouth. And it's probably fine to say whatever you want around her. Yeah, I bet you see a lot of different personalities, huh? Okay, well, I mean, I appreciate it. Nine, 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 the pass line, if you're on the pass line, right? Uh -huh. Nine, the number, nine, the line. <laughs> nine, nine, cried the Fraulein, the German birth control. Nine, nine, the size of mine, right? I mean, there's, there's funny things where you say whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. This is a puck, right? It's not a, it's not a hockey puck. This is a craps puck. That doesn't say no, it says on. Puck on and puck off, color up. <laughs> All right. And with that, um, if you guys have any other fun stick calls, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. We might have to do a follow up if we, if we get some good ones. That'd so, be awesome. Yeah. I appreciate this, John. And uh, check out his uh, website, crapsmoney.com. And you're also, you have a YouTube channel. YouTube it's kind channel. of old, but those videos it are is great old. stuff. You know, uh, Learn to Play Craps has been around for a little over 10 years. I shot that video with a standard Kodak Easy Share camera on a tripod back in the day. And that's when I first started doing this. Got over a million views on all my videos combined. It's been a lot of fun teaching people. I've, I know I've taught a lot of you guys some of your first stuff on craps. You see my videos on my view count and you go there first. I've got some good information, but I'll tell you this right now. This guy right here has got some great information too. He's sharing a lot of the other stuff that I didn't share on some of my videos. I got my hats off to color up, man. You have done some awesome things. <laughs> All right, John, I appreciate it. And I think we're probably going to head out to the casino. And to all you guys out there, good luck on coloring up.